Hello viewers, welcome to Dress Up Tears channel. In this video, I'm going to show you where to park and where not to park at Mountain Rubidoux. This area like 10 years ago was one of the places to park your car at 9th and Mountain Rubidoux Drive Street. But now this area does not allow the public to park here. As you can see here are private homes, yet people do walk through this neighborhood to go hike. If you do pass by here, make sure to be respectful to the community. Now let's go for a hike. You can bring your bike, your dogs to go on this. This pathway to hike is not intense, so you can bring your friends and family, grandma, grandpa to get some fresh air. Look at those nice flowers. You see this cactus? The more you walk this way, the more you'll see cactus. While walking this path, you are able to see other people's backyard that lives close to Mountain Rubidoux. And please be respectful and do not trespass. Yellow rail. Do not go that way because that's private property. And make sure to turn left. See, there is more cactus. Finally, we have arrived in front of the mountain and there are two pathways. The right side of the trail is the long way and the left side is a shorter way. Next, you could also park at Vermont Park. It's a long walk, but it'll be worth it because you will see lake, ducks, raccoons. This is the garden and you can turn right and continue walking and get and get to the trail. The lake looks beautiful. Finally, we have arrived to this trail. Please do not litter. There is a trash can on this trail, so maintain the clean environment. You gotta continue walking until you reach this area. You will see the bridge, bridge and you are going to walk under the bridge. Right there is a dog park and turn left here. Walk up the stairs and this will be more of a challenge to go up to the mountain. The good news is that there is a trail that you can follow and you cannot get lost. Make sure you are wearing comfortable activewear shoes. No chanclas, no heels, no sandals. Once you made it to this point, there is more of a challenge. As you can see, there are steps here. My advice to you all to walk up here, baby steps. This is the halfway point to get to the top of Mountain Rubidoux. Yes, you can park here at the dog park and to avoid the long trail at the Vermont Park, make sure you walk at the end of the parking lot, you will see the gate and begin to hike. If you're not up for the challenge, here is a nice long trail of the back of the mountain to walk, bike, jog, walk your dogs. Hey, check out this guy, that looks pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to the Mountain Rubidoux Butt Rock. Let's make this viral. This is the end of this trail. If you keep continuing to walk further up, you will see that this is another park. You can park here as well. This park is called Brian Bonino Park. This same park, you can walk up to the front of Mountain Rubidoux. As you can see here, no one can park on this road. Now walking up to this pathway will take you to the same place at the beginning of the video. When you walk up to this bridge, that means you are close getting to the top of the mountain. 
You can take selfies, pictures, or you can chill and enjoy the view of the city of Riverside. Turning to the right side is the cross. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful for everyone who wants to explore at Mount Rubidoux. I will upload more videos to do in Riverside. Till next time, bye!